we are in northeast Scotland, in the middle of nowhere, north of Inverness. Pretty exciting times for us. We've just spent the last year putting together a turbine for a new client in Japan. We are in NIG to load the vessel you can see behind me, which is the Joseph. It's a lot of equipment, 2,000 tonnes of various large lumps of steel. Which comprise the turbine itself, uh, the base foundation piece, uh, and uh, six large ballast blocks. The cargo is fairly unique, and therefore we need someone to be able to provide specialist sea fastenings to understand how to lift that load carefully. Um, the foundation is just a big piece of steel, but it's got to be put into the hole in the right place. The foundation piece is a, much of a challenge because it's uh, up to 11.2 uh, metres in height and we only have 11.3 metres in the total height in the hatch, so it's a pretty critical operation. We need these ships to know where to put the stuff on the ship, where it's going to be safe, where it's going to travel well. And the turbine itself, is, you know, as you can see behind, is probably still about 17 metres, and that's going to fit in the hole. The planning for these lifts uh, is all done by the engineering department of D-Ship in Germany. Uh, they supply me with a, a, a very tight specification of how we uh, plan and execute the lifts, so I have to check with the chief officer and with the captain, the certification, and uh, check the lifting gear, make sure it's properly applied and used. It's a logistics tango and we need someone we can trust to take care of all those details and not make it happen. But working with the captain, we lowered the hatch covers very gently and we were able to get a line of sight and the clearance in the end was around about 10 centimetres, which was within a centimetre or two of what we planned. The time is the key. Uh, in fact, we've taken their quicker options, so we're uh, last on, first off on the ship, which is an option that D-Ship provide, and that allows us the tight window that we can tell our client that we're arriving in Japan. What are my expectations of D-Ship? I think uh, already they've been exceeded. They did a fantastic job. It's, it's not a fairly standard, you know, carry something to the other side of the world and just deliver it. 